you little nutty end caps. Uh. Hello everyone, Lois here from RVT. So if you've been watching my videos for a long time, uh, you heard me talking about trying to get some bees and stuff like that. You know, now that I have uh, plenty of property, I think it's time for me to start doing that. You know, for a long time I've been watching uh, Vino Farm uh, on YouTube and maybe about five years since it started. And that, that kind of like got me started wanting, you know, to do the same thing. And I was all been watching, you know, like Jeff, uh, Porch off bees and six to eight dirt rooster bees, and also uh, lately been watching uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, you know, which Dr. Leo is on there, and that pretty much got me to uh, wanting to build that kind of ha hive that Dr. Leo Leo has. Uh, he's got a website over his website is uh, horizontalhive.com. Um, I can never pronounce his last name, but I think it's like Sharashkin, Shur something like that. But <laughs> if I, if I, I, I'll, you know, I tend to butcher names like that all the time. But anyways, sorry about that, Leo, <laughs> Dr. Leo. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to be building the uh, layens frames on this video. And then later on, I'm building traps. That way, you know, I can start trapping some bees, local bees, and wild bees. That way, I don't have to minimize the treatment and all that stuff. Kind of like Dr. Leo suggests us doing. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be using the same materials that they use. Like, I think they have like one-fourth or something like that of uh, board. I printed out. Printing out this uh, information for his website, and it tells you everything you know, everything you need from the uh, from the store and stuff like that. I don't think the frames do, but I'm just gonna be getting it from uh, two by six that I have from leftover from a different project. So I'm gonna go over there and show you. I'll be right back. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually my second time I'm recording this. Uh, the first time I made a lot of frames. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that video because uh, I've been having problems with it. Uh, I wasn't aware that I was recording on 8K on my camera. It's a new camera, so I didn't know what, what it was set up on. And my computer couldn't take that. And I actually had to buy a... Uh, special codec for that I think it should have come with it but it wasn't on there and I bought it and my software editing software couldn't take that either so I'm recording this again on regular you know I don't know if it's gonna be 4k but I guess it doesn't matter to me um, but uh, I've done this before I already did it once and I actually didn't have the uh, proper uh, one of the proper equipments I was just doing it with the uh, table saw and there's a helicopter coming so man that was low on the camera I didn't show that low but <laughs> back to my video um, I already marked it over here this is one I'm gonna be using I'm gonna using a 2x6 and I'm gonna be using a 2x10 uh, it doesn't matter how long it's as long as you get it 2x10 or 2x4 or 2x6 or 2x12 if you want on this one now, I'm, gonna doing a, I'm gonna be doing it with 2x6 and um, I already marked 15 9 16 so over here and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them I'm gonna cut, cut a bunch of them 15 9 16 all the way until I run out of uh, till I run out of board and uh, and then uh, show you after I cut everything 
All right, so this is what I was able to get out of that two by six. I was able to get uh, six pieces, six, yeah, six pieces, but some of them I'm not gonna be able to use because of those knots that is, you know, they're all over the place. I tried to find the uh, best ones, but you know, it's kind of like impossible to find the uh, perfect board at a uh, big box store, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this and then uh, my next step is to measure from here to whatever it's gonna be the little eeny part <laughs> I call it the eeny part I don't know it's like a goes like this hold on it goes like this it goes in and then out like that so I need to measure from here to here, draw a line, and then I might use my brand new joiner. I bought that thing because, you know, it took me forever doing it with the uh, table saw. You know, what, what I was doing is I was like sliding it sideways like this, like very, very slow on the blade. And then uh, that took forever and... I don't want to do that again. I didn't want to do that again, so I bought a a joiner, a jointer, joiner, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll show you over there. So here it is. This is a brand new. I haven't used it yet, but uh, I might put this to the test and uh, see what happens. All right. So I've, I was able to trim one of the boards. Um. Here's the line that I marked. Now, you on the uh, on the website on the plans it says like this is supposed to be one inch thick on the bottom, but this thing doesn't go any higher than that than this cut right here. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, and from here to here is one and one fourth, which that's how some book says to you know that does a perfect size for you know to store honey and brood so I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, even though it's this is supposed to be one inch but it's better than cutting with the uh, table saw back and forth back and forth on it <laughs> like I did on my last video that you will never see, you'll never see because you know I can upload it but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do all those like that run it through the uh, joiner and uh, I put a little stopper right here so what I'm technically doing is you know I'm just setting the board here and then running it slowly all the way down until it stops right there and this I don't have to measure I haven't measured this ones you know like the three and three fourths uh, since I have a stopper here now and it's all set up so I'll have to do now all I have to do now is um, run the boards and both sides and that's it so I don't have a vacuum or anything like that there's another piece that goes here but I didn't put it on there since I don't have a you know I'm outside and and I don't care if this spreads around here so I'm just gonna leave it open like that and then clean it out after every cut that I make. So, I mean, I wish I had a table and stuff, a workshop where I can work on this, but I don't have a workshop yet. I mean, I do have it, but it's not put together and I need a foundation and I need money for that. So, <laughs> that's gonna be later on and continue my series on my uh, workshop. If you haven't seen that, it's gonna be up there on the on the top right. Okay, so I'm done slicing all of those. I mean, not slicing, but taking some of that off. Here's a big pile of it. So I kind of like mark this right here because this is pretty much all I'm going to be using this for. I don't, I'm not, I won't work on, I don't think I can use that anywhere else. So every frame that I'm gonna be building is gonna be run through that 
and it's already set I marked it I can take that off so next time I come back and do some more frames I can come back and put it back on there and then on this setting right here it's all the way as far as I can get it down I mean up yeah down because this goes down and then this one is all the way up since I'm using it uh, I'm maxing it out so all right so I'm done with this next thing is uh, I might get my uh, table saw set up and then uh, slice the uh, the ends on it all right so I have my uh, table saw set up so now I'm just gonna slice back you know just slice them so I show you after I slice them I'm done cutting so I was able to get 58 of those and got like eight of those with the little with knots you little nutty end caps <laughs> you know, those are the ones that has the little knots on them so I'm not gonna be able to use those uh, later on you know right now this one might look good well not really but some of them like this one looks oh no which one is it this one this one looks okay but later on I know that this is gonna start looking like that so I'm just gonna take it out now and not use those but yep so I'm just gonna keep this ones they still have some knots on them but they're not that bad because you know they're somewhere where you know like that one where it's not gonna matter you know but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going and build the uh, the tops of the uh, frames all right so here are the uh, I was able to cut four pieces out of that uh, one by ten uh, they're supposed to be 14 and 5 16 and I got this left right here and that's gonna be for the bottom of the frames uh, the next step is to put something like this on the edge and from here to here it's supposed to be uh, 3 8 I believe I don't know I, f I forgot what it was but it's half half of the board and I already have my uh, router set up over here this is actually brand new too I just tested right here and it's a lot easier than using the table saw over there I, I got some dados for that but this is actually a lot easier and better for this uh, for that I still gonna use that for uh, the dados I think I'm gonna use that for the uh, traps and stuff if I ever make any more, any more traps but this is gonna be specifically for uh, the tops of the frames so I'm gonna go ahead and run run them through there and you know back and forth I mean I actually had to do it twice first one I had to do it like not you know not all the way in and then the second pass you know all the way into the to the back of that because I already have a measure from here to the end um, <clears throat> it is like 1 and 1 16 in from there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this ones and then slice them after that all right so I have this marked outside to like I'm labeling everything so I can uh, just uh, put set everything back when I need to uh, do some more frames but that's one that's what we got we got it cutting that's what we got me cutting uh on the strips right here and i'm gonna run all the boards all these four boards through there and uh that's it so i'll be right back and here's the uh, taste test so i have one two three four five six six out of one um strip I mean out of one uh one by see I don't know how to explain it but 
here's the rest of them so all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep going and cut the uh, bottom pieces for the uh, frames and the frames the bottom pieces they're easy to cut you know they're actually easier than anything because it's just rectangular but what i have to do is just measure from here to here on how um you know how long they are and then here i might bring a piece i have plenty of those left so here's here's a sample right here uh so all i have to do is cut here to here so this is gonna what i'm gonna end up with uh left uh this is just gonna be trash and or i can use it for something else i don't know maybe a landing landing area or something but uh and then i already you know put the staples on here so this is how you know i have a little jig that i made that i can uh puncture the i mean uh, mark the holes where i'm supposed to uh drill the holes at in and I, you had to put those staples like that so the wire doesn't dig into it when you wire and everything but uh, I'll show you that in a minute anyway I'm gonna go ahead and mark right here and cut it and then come back over here and slice it just like everything else uh, and after that we're done and we put them together okay so my table saw is set up at 5 8 from the blade this way and I already drew my line here so I don't have to do that again and I can just put this on there <clears throat> oh man I got some dust all in my throat but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut them and slice the bottoms and after that we're done with uh, all the cutting all right so here's my jig for the bottom and this is for the top <clears throat> now on the top I did it backwards they have the instructions said to do it and the reason I do it they backwards because you know that, that on the instructions it tells you from the from the top down but I did it from the bottom up uh, the reason I did it like that is so I can just uh, mark it you know sandwich them like this and then mark them from the top and uh, and it's easier to just line up the uh, the ends right there than it is uh, for me to do it from the, on the inside like this because I don't know for me it's just easier to do it like this you know and then you sandwich them together but anyways <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich all of them like that make uh, mark them and then the next step is gonna be putting the staples on there Okay, so I finished uh, marking all of the bottoms and the tops. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's one there, here, here. And now I'm going to use the smallest drill bit that I have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill everything. And I don't have a drill press, you know, or nasty, uh, one of those fancy drill pairs that you just you know pull pull down and it drills the holes like straight down so I'm just gonna do my best try to keep my drill bit my drill um, straight as I can but I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling all of them and then after that I'm gonna put the staples this is a pattern that uh, you have to do if you're doing uh, if you're doing your uh, wiring by hand, if you're doing it uh, with a jig, then you have to do it different. I, ha I don't know. I haven't looked at that one, but all I have to, do, all you have to do is put a staple on the ends, and then inside of these holes for the top. And then for the bottom, is the opposite of the hole. See, but I usually li just line them up. And then put the staples. I'm not, I'm not doing it like uh, based on the uh, 
based on the instructions i'm not doing it the same way since you know this is done after after they all put together but to me it's easier to just uh, do it now than uh having to staple it while the frames are put together so i'm doing it now and then after that i'm gonna put a nail outside here and uh and i'll show you those nails here in a minute so this is what I also also do before the frames I put together. I put a, I drive a nail, like not all the way in, on both sides, and uh, that way you know when I start wiring, I don't have to worry about you know putting those in while the frame is still kind of fresh. I mean you have to let it dry for 24 hours before you start wiring, but still I don't I don't trust it. But I, I actually drive the nail beforehand. And plus it's easier to just do it on on hard surface like this while it's off and this is the nails that I'm using right here uh, and uh, that's it everything that some of this stuff that I might be using I'm gonna put on the link on the description below if you want to get any of this stuff so this is a little jig that I built um, in my previous non air video <laughs> But uh, I'm not gonna build it again, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. This is actually from a frame that I have from a bed, and just got that, and then got the two by six around. And all we have to do now is uh, put glue on the uh, on the uh, tops, and then set them down here. And then I use the nail gun, the staples. These are not, you know, one inch uh, staples. They are uh, five eighths. But uh, I do have one inch staples. But I use, um, I usually use those for uh, for the traps since they're longer. But you know, I, I'm saying like I'm, I know what I'm doing because, <laughs> like for example, on the tops over here, you know, I'm saying it like if. I know what I'm doing. This is because I did it before, like I said, and my video couldn't come out. But this is what I've been that that I started doing because it's a lot easier for me to pre-do it before you actually uh, start uh, putting this stuff together. So if you have the other jig that they have on their website, you know the the flat one, then probably this is not gonna work because of the nails. They might be on the way but this you know pre-drilling the holes in the staples that that's probably gonna work because you know they just lay flat mm. but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the glue over here on the corner on the inside corner and then put them on there and then use my uh, air nailer and stapler and put that uh, staple everything together okay so here they are I'm gonna give them uh, 24 hours for them to uh, cure for the glue to uh, to cure and then uh, to I guess to dry and then and that's it you know tomorrow I'll come back and uh, wire everything uh, by the way this is the glue I'm using type on three and I heard that they're supposed to be okay for the bees because it's not supposed to release any fumes or any, something like that but anyways, uh, that's it. So I'll be back tomorrow. All right. So instead of waiting for 24 hours on wiring, this is one of the ones that I did uh, last time, and it's pretty basic. You know, you just put the wire through the hole, you feed it through back and forth, come out on this one on this side, then you just wrap it around the nail, you drive the nail in, then you just start pulling back. And then I usually, when I pull back, I usually just hold it from the top here. And then I pull on the next one on this side. And then again, once this this one gets tight, I uh, hold this one right here. And then I pull it, pull it back this way. And then, you know, again, pull it and then hold it here. Put my finger on there. Then I pull it, <clears throat> pull it from here. Wrap it around the nail, 
and I drive the nail in there and that's it but this is how they look like I mean I'm pretty sure you've seen them somewhere else but um oh yeah on this one the, the first badge that I made I usually did a little groove in the middle so I can uh if I ever want to do a you know insert there then I can't you know later on if I lose the wire or something or you know I can just melt it and melt the uh, wax on here but anyways uh that's gonna be it so instead of waiting this is what I decided to do show you this one that I've done on this one I messed up I actually put the uh, staples actually not <laughs> actually glued it on here facing with the staples facing up so I had to restaple some on the back but it's all good but anyways uh, that's gonna be it for this video so uh, if you want to see a sneak pre preview before YouTube uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram uh, if you want to keep watching my videos and I'm uh, keep posting videos on uh, you know the beehive process that I'm doing as a beginner and hopefully you can you know subscribe to the channel and make sure you like and subscribe and uh, that's it that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching